What's going on, guys? Welcome to a... I guess we're just going to play some modern today. We're going to play with this Sultai control list. It's kind of like a super, super friends list. You got four Lilianas, you got two Jaces, an Obnixilis, a Vraska, uh, one Ashiok, which I'm a huge fan of. Lots of counter spells, two negate, spell pierce, ceremonious rejection, and counter squall on the sideboard. Snapcasters with things like fatal, Brutal fatal push and collective brutality. Uh, Scavenging is in the main deck, Traverse in the main deck, Oath of Nyssa in the main deck. All pretty sweet. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to playing this. Jace is now unbanned in Modern. So, for those who didn't know for some reason, Jace and Bloodbraid Elf are recently unbanned. So, we're looking forward to casting some Jace the Mind Sculptors in Modern. Um, <clears throat> one thing I would not mind from this list is a way to play Jace on turn three, like Birds of Paradise or Noble Hierarch. Um... I also wonder if the Fatal Push are going to be enough, or not the Maelstrom Pulse are going to be enough in a format with Jace, because this isn't a super aggressive deck. So, yeah, um, that's my big concern. Like, if they play Jace, this might be the kind of deck that does not actually uh, have a way to interact with it. Someone says Jace is over 200 paper, so if you don't already own them, you're kind of out of modern. That's actually not true. There's over 50 decks in modern. So, uh, <laughs> like, I, I think if you can't play a two of Jace in a, a certain archetype, I think you're still just fine. <clears throat> I don't think any Tron players are going to be upset because they didn't get their Jaces, or Affinity players, or Burn players, or Death Shadow players, or Mardu players, or Kiki Chord players, or... Should I keep going? There's a point, my point made. So, uh... Yeah, there's actually Jace was at 150 yesterday when it was when it was unveiled that he was unbanned. Uh, today, uh, I mean last night before I went to bed he was at 110. So he actually sh he actually dropped 40 dollars last night. So if someone's saying they're they're 200 dollars is just not even factual, and I have no idea why you'd want to perpetuate things like that if they're not true. But what can you do? So instead of playing a league, uh, we're just gonna play some individual matches so we can tweak as we go and uh, just get an idea of how these how these Jaces are are doing. Sultai Super Friend Arenos. <clears throat> I think if you're playing like blue black, you can definitely play Heroes Downfall. If you're playing uh, black green, you're probably just better playing Maelstrom Pulse. Hmm. Well, I like this hand. I'll keep this hand. So we need a second black. And we need a second blue, so clearly Watery Grave is the play here. I'm wondering if we just Breeding Pool to get a, our fourth land. Or uh, traverse to get our fourth land. I clearly have no idea what I'm saying today, so. Yeah, if you're black red, it's Dreadbore. If you're if you're black green, it's Maelstrom Pulse. If you're black X, it's probably Hero's Downfall. Um so. Let's get Probably a swamp. Swamps are, <clears throat> excuse me, the most common land. So this has to be Watery Grave, and then we go Swamp. I like it. Uh, it's Jace Tribal, only we have one Jace. So, one one version of Jace, rather. So it's more Liliana Tribal than anything, I would say. Oh. I know exactly what's happening. See, this is what I'm gonna I'm gonna actually laugh if um, Dostal, as usual, there's a deck list on uh, exclamation mark deck command deck. Is that what? It, how do you when you have an exclamation mark before a thing? What do you call it? Like uh, if you have the the pound sign, it's called hashtag, right? Uh, what's the exclamation mark? Is it just called command? I don't actually know. Bloodbird Elf into Tiny Jace seems pretty sweet. The odds of you having Jace in there are 200%, and I'm like, mm, 200 seems a little low. Duck list. Gets me every time. I love it. Alright, we're going to go with Watery Gravu. We do get to play Liliana here, which is pretty great. 
Hey, that's pretty. Look at all these lands. I wish we didn't traverse, but I guess we're never going to actually not traverse. So, one. I actually do. I have, I have no desire to make them discard, right? That seems bad. We also don't want to discard. I'll just play Lil. I don't know. If, I don't know if discarding uh, makes them do anything. To be quite honest, they already have Gristlebrand in the graveyard, so I don't actually think it's bad. Might have been good. I don't know. I have no idea. But my problem is like there's so many decks in Modern that if you actually don't play for like just a little while, you f yep there we go. You actually forget what uh, what the best strategies are at any given point against a, you know a specific deck. Jace does look like he's touching some the blue spaghetti. Somebody touching my blue spaghetti. Um. So I'm wondering how Jace is too strong when my opponent just put a gristle brand into play on turn three. Can 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 anyone explain? Oh, an old nourishing shoal. Here we go. Here we go. I ain't even mad at you. Yeah, the thing about illusory spaghetti is that if you uh, if you target it with something, it actually. Gets removed from... Wow. All they have to do is discard one land. How lucky you had that one land. Unbelievable. What are, we, what are we bringing here? They're gonna... I feel like... I mean, he had 22 cards in hand. He has one land. Come on. The odds of that are pretty low, guys. Let's be real here. I'll bring this guy in. I'll take the Fatal Pushes out, because those are pretty terrible. That's, uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, I don't think Abrupt Decay does anything either, to be quite honest. Uh, I don't know. I'm actually worried that he's gonna think I'm being serious. I can't tell, so I'm, I'm like, keep, I keep checking over to make sure he's not like... Okay, good. He, he left. <laughs> just, whew. I was like, oh god, I hope he doesn't think I'm being serious. Alright, so let's take all the things that suck out. I don't think Liliana's is great here. Alright, so we have six cards we can bring in. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then Counter Squall is probably better than Negate, right? Just. There you go. There you go. I mean, just think how scary Jace would have been. I forgot I left Jace out. I've been, like, forgetting my words recently. Like, I'll be typing something. I'll just leave words out. I don't even like these lilies. I think it's just all negates. All negates all day. Let's do it. I am going to mulligan this hand with zero lands in it. I don't like this hand. I'll keep it, though. Alright, deal. We were on the play? My god, why? Why, oh why? 
That was bad. What's small text? You said that small text is my bad vision. See, this is why I didn't do a league, because I'm just like, I have no desire to be locked into this bad boy. Oh, that was a mess. I think we're dead now. Without making some tweaks. Because I think, uh, Lefauf, this was, the, the, the deck that we're playing was uh, submitted by a, uh, a viewer, Lefauf. And uh, the deck, he, he submitted the deck previously, and it looked awesome. But the only changes post Jace, we're just like adding two Jaces and making a couple changes. So I feel like we're in a position where we can probably adjust due to metagame. All right, let's see what you got. Probably just Gory. Oh, Blood Moon seems very good. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, so what do you, what can you do next turn? You have three lands next turn. You don't have a Spear Guide. You don't have a Pact. So you can get rid of Blood. I, I think we just have to get rid of Blood Moon. Otherwise, they slam Blood Moon. We have a mountain and a forest, and we just can't do anything. It's just got to be Blood Moon, unfortunately. What else did you have? The rest of your hand looks pretty scary, but you know how many guys? All right, whatever. I'm not going to pithing needle here because that's just silly. I guess we could. We what do we? we what do you need a pithing needle? Gristlebrand or Borborigmos? That's the question. Oh, that was a good draw. That was a good draw. Oh, I got rid of Knight's Whisper and a Gristle Brand. Wow. And the Gorgas Vengeance immediately. Magic's a hard game, guys. My god, Jace is broken in modern, guys. Do you be can you believe how oppressive Look how look how warped this format is now that Jace is in it. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be my um my J my making fun of Jace stream. Because I love the dude. I love Jace to death, but I mean there's really no Uh we didn't we didn't needle on Gristlebrand because uh I wasn't sure if it was better on Borbergmos or Gristlebrand. Honestly, it's probably just naming Gristlebrand, I think. But they didn't have a Gristlebrand in hand either. So they literally had to hit Faithless Looting and Gristlebrand. So You guys can hear the laundry? That's insane. Wow. Sorry, guys. I have the door closed and everything. That's weird. We could be alive. We might not be dead here. We're probably dead here. So our plan was to Thought Seize next turn and see if they got anything else off of the Knight's Whisper. And then presumably... Um, you know, cater our pithing needle to that, but yep, all right, and uh, that'll do. Why doesn't it ever let you? I can't interact with my opponent. That's sad. I just wanted to tell him that that Jace was uh... all right. So let's go. Let's go over here. I don't think Vraska is good enough in this deck. I don't even know if we need Oath of Nissa, to be quite honest. Oath of Nissa just seems like a bad Opter Serum Visions. So we're going to make some changes here. Hopefully Lefauf doesn't mind. Um, what do we want against... I think we just want, like... I think we want Mana Leaks. Mana Leaks seems good. Uh, we'll use these original Bordered Tempest Mana Leaks. All right, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add three mana leaks, and we'll take out. We'll take out the oath of Nisses. What else is good? Maybe I just want another another Jace. Do I just want all the Jaces? I don't know if I like Eternal Witness, but I kind of do. Um, if you guys want to donate to my mana leak fund, you're more than welcome to. I know I don't have many right now, but. If you guys ever want to help out and be like, hey, here's some extra mana leaks, 
Um, you know, I appreciate it because I'll just, you know, I always have, I always need to use extra mana leaks and I never, sometimes I just don't have them. So, you know, stuff like that. That's where all, all donations just go to the mana leak fund. So it's worth, you like e-witness? It feels too slow. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like e-witness into like anything feels too slow here. What's up with you, nerd? Happy Valentine's Day, buddy. Um, I don't know if we want a third Jace. Might actually want a third Maelstrom Pulse. That is 57 Mana Leaks. That is a good point. I do like birds a lot, but it kind of changes the deck. Why don't we have Tarmogoyfs in here? I feel like if we have Traverse, we could have Tarmogoyf. Right. We also do have Damnation over here. It feels like Damnation in the main deck would be good, but uh, Magic Online was created in like early two thousands, and I started using it around two thousand two. I would say. So I've been using it for most of its life. Um, I think this is. Pr the thing is, we want to think. We want to do. We want to do things on their turn or on our turn. Like Mana Leak is bad if we're playing on on their turn or on our turn rather and play all these planeswalkers are bad if we're playing on their turn so we have to figure out what we're doing here i think we can actually take these mana leaks out and put something like a birds of paradise in and i'll probably take out traverse too because you're just hitting lands and these are kind of like lands so i'm gonna put in a noble as well the problem with noble hierarch is that unless you have overgrown tomb um you can't actually cast one of these on turn three. Or on turn two, rather. Because if you go, like, Breeding Pool into Noble Hierarch, you're not going to have double black, so it's kind of awkward. Anders, happy birthday, buddy. I do like one Noble, but it just doesn't do what I want it to do, I'm worried, I'm, I'm worried about. I guess we could always search for Overgrown. But if you even go like forest into noble hierarch, you can never cast the Lilianas or the, or I guess just the Lilianas on turn on turn two. It might just be four birds. That might just be where we have to be. Um, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, Tarpit's like I, I actually have a criticism against Tarpit because I kind of want the I want our lands to come into play untapped. I do like another Kalidus, actually. I can see that. Let's add another Kalidus. I'm going to switch out these tar pits for Overgrown Tombs. Or I'll switch out one and one. We'll do one tar one, one Overgrown Tomb, one Watery Grave. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's see if this, let's see if this uh, is a little bit more... What is this? Where am I? Legacy? Come on. Ain't nobody got time for that. We have a lot of one drops, but oh, actually, Dark Slick Shores and Botanical Sanctums and what's the other one? I don't know. I forgot the other one. Sand seems good. We'll keep it. It's a little slow. Wow, this is a really. Why would the chat get this big randomly? I don't understand. Last last round it was like this, and then it just starts the game like this. Is there like a random uh, value assigned to it? Ob or the other four drop was the other four drop Jace was that is that that's the one you're referring to? Because that's interesting, and I think you're. I do like some goifs in this deck actually. Lafoe, I think you're. I think you're dropping the ball here without the goifs. Oh, that's a good one. That's a solid gentleman. 
Our opponent plays Drowned Catacombs on turn one. That's interesting. A Drowned Kitty Catacombs. Let's get a Watery Grave. No, I'm not going to pay. You'll pay. Can you? Do you guys know if you can flashback a Liliana with Snapcaster Mage? Is that legal? Goyf is overrated, but it wins games. Like, I mean, it's overrated, but it's a 5-6. So, for, for two manor, manners. Oh, I see. There is one Ashiok in the deck, which is sweet. I can see going up to two, because it also makes your... It's also better with... Um, it's better with Birds of Paradise. It's also better with Noble Hierarch, too. I would actually cut one of the Lilianas for another Ashiok and probably go... Probably add... Probably will add, like, two Noble Hierarchs, just because I want to be a turn... I want to be a, a, a deck that plays their turn three on turn two, etc. That's interesting, because we do have a Snapper. A red snapper. Well, that's a dude. I'm just going to play you and play Overgrown Tomb tapped. There's nothing to eat right now except for our own stuff, and there's no creatures, so. Do I think Joan rises back up in the mix, or is Grixis going to be the choice of red black? Um, well, I mean, they're two different decks, right? Like, Grixis is going to have a couple of Jaces in it, maybe. Maybe if they're even if they even plan to get to turn four uh, or four mana rather, whereas Jund is definitely going to be a deck because you just get to play Bloodbird Elf and that's cool. So um, I don't think I don't think it's a matter of like is it going to be one or the other. Like Modern is a format where like at least twenty different decks can exist at any given time. So <sighs> kind of just want to Maelstrom Pulse this guy now because if we we're, we don't want to play our Snapcaster Mage and Maelstrom Pulse their Snapcaster Mage because then we just have bad times. Then they just all die. So, three cards to three cards. That's pretty good. And we know we have a Snapcaster. What up, Alan? Uh, your Valentine's chocolate? You actually said on that thread that you were good to go, buddy. So, in your face. We're just going to opt here. Actually, we'll just opt during our turn, right? Because we have planeswalkers, we're like we're like trying to play on our turn, not on their turn. So, a bird of paradise, you can leave. Thoughtseize, see there you go. That's, now we're now we're talking. Show me that smile again. Don't waste another thought season. How can I deny my goddaughter's request on my goddaughter's wedding day? Oh, settle the wreckage with no white. Adjace the mind sculptor. Better than all. Pretty sure we just take Mana Leak and then take the Jace. Yeah, I don't want to hope you just hit another land. Or hope you don't hit another land, rather. The best is ready to begin. Yeah, get that dude out of your hand. Because if we took the, some, anything other than Mana Leak the first time, when we Snapcastered back the Thoughtseize, they could have Mana Leaked it. So we definitely want to get rid of that Jace. Which does leave you with Snapcaster Mana Leak. So if we draw our Jace, you can just counter it. If you hit another land, though. So. Oh, get an island. Sure. Sure. I wonder if they try to just cut off cut us off double blue there. Fatal Pusharuski. All right, well that's a bird. That's exciting. All right, so we know you have Snap Settle. 
So we only have Maelstrom Pulse here, so we might as well actually just wait so we can snap opt. Snap opt. Because if we snap opt, we can't really play much anyway because it's going to take double blue. What does that do? Are you going to fatal push my bird? Wow. These are aggressive choices you're making. It's not like I have swords or something. All right, pass it to you. I think that's fine. We can go womp womp womp. It's just opt now, I guess. It's going to be Liliana. Ready? Yep, you could stay right on the top. Yeah, we would only had one blue, so just, just like we're actually playing towards playing this Jace. So um, when we only had one blue, it was like couldn't do it anyway, so I didn't care to opt on my turn. God, I just hope you didn't draw a counterspell. Is this gonna be Jace Wars now? So you have a settle the wreckage and one other card in hand. Please don't be a counterspell, I guess. interesting hmm. sure it's pretty aggressive I think we want a second uh, pretty sure we want a second island in the deck but come on blue source okay dokie well I guess we'll find out what you have Feel free to mana leak it. Deal. The the one time we can uh, the one time we can cast Jace is the one time we only have one blue in play. Oh, we just pass it. Oh, overgrown tomb. Why are you the way that you are? All right, so now we're definitely adding a second island to the deck. And then we're going to cut Liliana's for Ashiok's. Because I think Ashiok is way stronger than, than people give her credit for. Yeah, that did give me pause. Like, when they actually kept trying to keep us off double blue, it was a little suspicious, especially because they knew... Uh, because their other card is a Subtle the Wreckage, and we can't actually take that with an Inquisition, so... Like, we know the card in hand. It's Settle the Wreckage, guys. We don't need info. Well, I guess we can actually leave this up. We're just going to pass here. <sighs> so round one, we lose to Gorio's Vengeance on turn three. Round two, we can't cast our Jace. Oath of Nissa. We literally took the Oath of Nissa's out before this round, Zach. So we had two in here. Oh, thank God. Are you ready for the counter city? Because that's where we're going to be living. Take me down to the counter city when the grass is green. Sometimes you have it all. We're at seven? Oh, God. Yeah, clearly cutting Oath of Nissa was a big mistake. I I don't agree with that. That's, that's sarcasm. I mean, my point is that I think if our mana base uh, was a little more... Well, Celestial Colony is a little rough. Um, I think if our mana base was a little more resilient to cards like this, I think we'd be fine. But I also think Tarmogoyfs are a pretty good dude.
Boom, 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 boom. Can't even activate because we get killed. Snapcaster number three. Hmm, here's downfall. Look at that. It's interesting to me we have one card in hand and they haven't attacked us with Celestial Colony, right? I mean, you know exactly when to kill my blue sources. You're not attacking with Celestial Colonnade. All right. Seems a little bit interesting to me, but... <sighs> sure. Like, do I really have to, like, hide my hand because you don't know how not to watch me while I'm playing? I don't understand. It's kind of obnoxious. I mean, if you're going to for their Jace, it's going to hit our Jace too, right? That doesn't really... I don't think that's ideal. I mean, I guess you can avoid... You can avoid ghosting by not playing against scumbags, I guess, but... Oh boy. Sure. Bottom. Yeah, I feel like we're trying to be proactive and reactive at the same time. Uh, it's fun because you get to win stuff, right? Like, so, I mean, if you're... Sure, we'll just crack this and get that. I mean, they're going to take this anyway because it's the only choice, so we might as well actually get the two life out of it. Yeah, we also got double, double blue. We have, we have, so Eternal Witness is also weird because we have double black, double black, double green, double blue cards. So it's, re you have to like get the perfect configuration of mana in order for things to work out. Balthasar, see you later, buddy. Have a good night. Or until later, I guess. Until we meet again. He's going to keep.
keep countering, I guess. And then you're going to mana leak this, and then you get two cards, and... Redemption song. Is there any situation where you don't want to use Eternal Witness? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, it's weird. Do you want to use this ability? Well, maybe if you want to keep Delirium on. Or if you don't want to shrink a Tarmogoyf and you have to. Like, there's definitely, like, corner case situations where you don't want to do that. I'm definitely not just going to run an Obnixilis into a counter spell. Snapcaster Bird. Sure. Yeah, buying three Jaces for 120 is pretty sick. You basically tripled your money. Because they're basically each worth that much now. And then they have this, so they're just going to mana leak it. Sure. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep tweaking this deck because I like the idea of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're literally one man away from playing Ob and Maelstrom pulsing the Jace, so. Sure. All right, let's go back to the drawing board. I had another island here. Take out one swamp. We're going to add another Ashiok. Take out... Uh, I don't think we need both of these Lilianas, to be quite honest. Let's add some Tarms. Add a Noble. Two. Take out the Witnesses. Lefof, anytime, buddy. I mean, you send me a Sultai list, and I'm just like, okay, I'll do that. Do we even like... Is is Field of Ruin just better than Ghost Quarter? I feel like it is. Like, I almost like Field of Ruin better than Ghost Quarter in a lot of decks now, just because... Like, you don't... It doesn't fix the snaps? What does that mean? Are they broken? I like this art so much better, if that's what you're referring to, dude. I think this... I think this snap art is so much better. Oh my god, Notion Thief could be sick. It feels a little bad not running cryptic, yeah. I'm not I'm not thrilled about it. But that's life, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. I like the birds because I want to play these guys on turn two. This is tricky, though. Magic's hard, man. You gotta figure out what you want to do. Like, what's our plan? Maybe we don't want Tarmogoyfs. Maybe we just want to focus on our three drops and our two drop and our one drops. What's display of dominance? Oh. Interesting. No, I have not. Oath is Oath is Oath fixes our mana, but only for planeswalkers. And like it doesn't it doesn't ramp us to three, which is what we want to do. I feel like I want to be playing Bird on one, Ashiok on two, and then Jace on turn three. I'm gonna add, I'm just gonna add another Jace. All right, let's see if this is better. How many lands do we have? Twenty two lands. Okay. Or the energy changes we were gonna make. Mana confluence. I don't. We're not gonna play main board damn. We're not main deck because main board is not a thing. We're not gonna play main deck damnation when we have birds and noble hierarch. I I like Obnixilus a lot. Uh, I'm not a big fan. I'm not actually a big fan of, of Tassiger. What's an equivalent Sultai creature to Tarmogoyf? Is there like a really good Sultai creature? Like a Siege Rhino kind of creature? Uh, I don't like Explore. I don't like... Okay, A, I don't like Explore at all because we're playing 22 lands. So our odds of hitting a second land off of Explore is not super high. Uh, additionally, I don't want to ramp from 2 to 4. I want to ramp from 1 to 3. And then still play a 4 on turn 3, which is a completely different strategy. I kind of like one Scarab God a lot, actually. That's hilarious. I want to take. I'm gonna put Scarab God instead of Tassiger. Uh, I'd probably play. I'd probably play Tarmogoyf over Grim Flare. If I'm not playing Grim, if I'm not playing Tarmogoyf, I'm probably not gonna play Grim Flare. I think we're just gonna try it like this for now. We're just gonna keep going back and forth, and you guys can watch the evolution of life and the deck. Sometimes I like to sit here uh, and wait for the person to enter. We took out the Tarmogoyf because I don't want to go for... I want my, my ideal... The game plan of the deck is to go from 1 mana to 3 mana to 4 mana. We, we skip over 2. So I... Plus, we have to take too much stuff out to, to fit in 4 Tarmogoyfs. And I don't like... Thrun actually could be... Ver I think actually Thrun might be better than... I'm going to put 1 Thrun in the deck. I like that a lot. Because Kalidus just dies. Thrun is really hard to deal with. See, the problem is you guys are like, add Tarmogoyf, add Ancestral Vision, add this, add that. And it's like, well, we have to take cards out. So... So if you guys want to suggest something, uh, make sure you also suggest what to replace it with. Uh, we're playing six dorks. We're playing four birds and two noble hierarchs. So that's more. That's almost 50% more. Chasm Skulker. No take, only add. <laughs> oh. All right, we're just going to get in the queue. Usually I like to wait until someone else is in there and then join them instead of having someone join me. So... Uh, I can't write the list is the the original list is under deck list command to list or command deck um, I can't update it every single time I make some changes obviously so if you guys want to take a screenshot and do that yourself you're more than welcome to but I mean I can go back to the deck now and you can take a look and just screenshot it
I actually don't know if I even liked Opt at all in this deck, to be quite honest. Um, I'll keep this hand. Little Jace is too slow, huh? Bird of Paradise? Island. Oh, Black Wallet. Oh, you're oh you're this guy, huh? Lightning Bolt, Acid Moss. I mean, it's clearly Acid Moss. You don't have a, another green. You got double green here. All right, so that's gone. Speak of the devil. Actually, see, one of the things you want to keep doing, Opt is good when you're playing on your opponent's turn. When you're playing on your turn, it's a little less good. See, this is what we wanted, but we know they only have Lightning Bolt, Chandra, Chandra in hand. So I actually don't even think we want this. That would be good. <laughs> Ashy Larry. What's up, Chad? Good seeing you, buddy. Yep, now they play a Chandra. See, everyone's doing things that I want to do only faster. Like, they're playing their Planeswalker on three. I want to play mine on two. Because he costs one less. Like, even if we negative two to kill this guy, like, they just kill our... Like, Ashok just dies immediately right now because they, 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 they attack it for one. They deal it one with Chandra and then lightning, lightning bolted. Hmm. Just bad shape right here. Liliana, we go to four. They go lightning bolt, shoot, shoot. Doesn't do anything. None of these things do anything right now, which is the frustrating part. I guess we'll just play Ashiok. Maybe they... I don't know. It doesn't matter. We hit a bird. They have a stone. So they're just playing the land destruction deck. So we're just going to bring in all the counter spells, I guess. But. I think it's. I think it feels disingenuous when the, the person who's playing land destruction says have fun against you. Does anybody ha have that feeling? Oh, Jace is at three, or Ashok's at three. What are the odds they don't lightning bolt it? Actual zero. Okay. Hmm. Well, we can get this other Chandra out of your hand. That's a thing. But we have no way to deal with this Chandra. All right, we're just going to go to the next game. We can't do anything here. Chandra's going to ultimate in a second. And, uh, yeah. Not. All right, bring in the negates. Bring in the counter squalls, bring in the spell thing. I just want I want fewer ops for cards that do that do more things. I don't think Notion Thief is worth being in the main deck, unfortunately. It could be a cute sideboard card, but. Uh, Abrupt Decay does kill a Planeswalker if it costs three or less. It does not kill a four mana Chandra. Alright, if we can hit a land, this is exactly the hand we want. Pithy Needle could have been fine. Grouch86, two months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. One land so I can play turn two Ashiok. That's all I want. Wow, that was extremely loud. Tim Man, thank you so much. We'll suggest we'll suggest take out as well as take in LaPointe. <laughs> Got it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Land one time. Never good. Gonna push your bird down a mine shaft. We killed that guy. We could we could have thought seized and tried to take in like a three mana a three mana 
uh, Stone Rain. But if they already have... If they have multiples, if they have like two three-minute Stone Rains in their hand, then I'm just going to play one anyway. So I'd rather just kill their birds to keep them off of that. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Nope, definitely not doing that. Let's go blue here. And... Trashyok. We could have also snapped into push, but it's not as exciting. What do we get here? Scavenging is okay. Okay. They also have three cards. All right, not bad, not bad. Seth and Tom never sing. Good lord, man. That's like, oh. Wow. I just, I'm just going to cry just a little bit. It's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. This is why I take donations usually to uh, to show off decks like this, because usually, or not to, not to show off decks like this, but to, to, to critique and, like, test out decks and, like, uh, run them through the gauntlet, because uh, usually it's just uh, kind of a money sink sometimes. We could play scavenging and just eat a bird. It's not bad. Play this. Thought sees you. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. I'll take the, the dragon. That seems worse for us. We are pretty dead. I just, I'm, you know what? As much as it breaks my heart, I don't think cards like Ashiok uh, are great in modern. Yep. Swag Tusk. Swag Daddy. Definitely not blocking that guy. That's a dude, but that's a dude that dies really, like a really, a really sad death. Oh, uh, that is hmm. two bobs. Oh God, take four. That seems terrible. I have a Jace the Mind Sculptor in hand. I don't even feel good about casting it. Teamer has no good removal. Teamer has Lightning Bolt, and that's pretty much the extent of it. You have counter spells, but that's not really removal. We all know that. Uh, if we snap push, they, they tap their one forest to exile push. You guys are... Uh... You guys are not really helping us out here, unfortunately. <laughs> as soon as we target push with Snapcaster Mage, they exile it. This is not their graveyard. This is their exile, their exile zone. So, I feel like we just have to Jace. It's, I don't feel like it's great. Or not great, but... They have no cards in hand. So we can go block here. Yeah, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to do the thing. Plus no we're zeroing. Um put field on top. Put pulse on top. Alright. I am not a big Vendillion Click fan, so I mean, while that that's actually might be a reasonable suggestion, I just don't like the card. Um, I feel like it it's very easily dealt with, and I I don't know. That's just me. This is a personal that's a personal preference more than anything. Top deck Stormbreath Dragon.
But I think that's... Wow. Beast Within. Wow. Okay, we're done here. We've seen enough. Okay. Well, 03 so far. I'm hemorrhaging play points, unfortunately. All right, Notion Thief comes out. Uh, we are going to add Tarmogoyfs now because we just need more things. Tarmogoyfs. Take out the Ops. Take out the Hierarchs. Probably take out the Birds, too, I guess. We're just going to not be that deck anymore. I like Tarmogoyf a lot, and you guys, uh, you guys, anyone, anyone complaining about Tarmogoyf, the, the thing about Tarmogoyf does is it blocks, right? So we, we're putting our Planeswalkers down on empty boards for the most part. Minus two Ashiok, minus Lob Nexus, minus Sky Rap, first four. I, I don't like, I don't like Bob because we have four drops and like, I don't know, it's... Thought Scour? Are you an you're a maniac? Push I'm suspect to I'm suspicious to put four pushes in because Reluctant. Reluctant to put four pushes in because I don't really want... It is it is dead in certain matchups. Like in the Gorio's Vengeance matchup, you don't want four. You don't, you don't want any, really. But in like the Blue-White Control matchup, it's not great. Like, there's a lot of decks. Two Pulse seems like overkill when there's Jace the Mind Sculptor in the format now. I don't know if I agree with that. But we'll find out. I actually don't hate Tireless Tracker. I could see putting two tireless trackers in the deck. <sighs> Maybe I do just want ops back at this point. Uh, Scarab God we just tested once, but, like, it, see, it does seem a little slow. So. Love Fof, thanks for the fighting the good fight. We believe Blue... <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Um, I'm glad you showed me this deck because, uh, despite the changes, like, I do feel like I, you know, it was definitely... It's been fun to play around with. Um... I think this is good. Well, see, all right, so if we cut green to run counters and rasp, we're not playing Sultai anymore. We're trying to find a Sultai deck. So I always think it's funny when people say, cut cut the entire, cut cut one aspect of this deck to make it a completely different deck. And in which case, I can just play an Esper or a blue-black deck. I can just I can just play that deck. But that's not what I'm trying to do here. I don't think that's, that's, that's not our goal. So we want to actually play green. We want to play Sultai cards. So... Um... I don't, like, my biggest problem is playing Jace on turn four. Right? Like, I don't feel like that's where you want to be. I feel like all these decks are trying to go over the top. And you just don't want to have to play this on turn four. I'm also just not in love with Opt. It feels like it doesn't do anything. Ice Cage. When it becomes a target of spell or ability, though, that's interesting. Uh, you understand that Ice Cage... If you try to bounce the creature that has an Ice Cage on it, the Ice Cage dies, not the creature, right? I don't know if they, why, like, Thought Scour doesn't seem that good. We only have three Snapcasters, right? Like, Snapcaster is the only card in the deck that's good with... Hmm. 
So if we actually played Little Jace for on three, then I think we 100% play birds instead of something else. Because, like... Yeah, this is not a Thought Scour deck. I agree completely. Like, we don't have... Like, you want more Tassigers, you want more Snapcasters, you want, like, things like that take advantage of instants and sorceries. I don't really want to cut Ashiok. I'll cut one Ashiok, but I'm not going to... I like Ashiok as a card. Uh, because I did a lot of M11, M12, and M10 drafts. That's why I have all those. Do we want Remand or do we want Mana Leak? I like Mana Leak a lot. I'm gonna let's try the mana leaks again. And we're gonna add one more land. Let's add some dark slick shores. We'll add two dark slicks. And two. We want we want a blue. We want a black. Maybe we just add three of these and we'll take out. Uh, I'll take out one overgrown. And I'll take out one forest. We don't need this many forests. All right, let's try that. I think I think our deck is pr predominantly blue-black, so I think it's more important to have these. All right, let's try this now. We didn't want tarpit because it comes into play tapped, and we're just we're we're tapping out every turn. We're trying to play on curve, so. All right, let's keep the train rolling. Bayloth. Ravenous Bayloth? Obstinate Bayloth? Well, Bayloth. It's definitely not. It's definitely not Bug. It's definitely Sultai. If Bug is easier to say than Sultai, then you <laughs> you have bigger problems than what you're calling the deck because those the 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 difficulty between one and the other is extremely marginal. I, I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of um, uniformity, right? So I actually like having making sure all the decks are have similar name uh, cool, cool draw uh, conventions, right? And I think it's so much easier for new players to have one uniform name for a deck, uh, which is the the cons, tribes, clans, whatever you want to call them. Oh, I see. Let's get rid of this Rancor. That's not cool. Good old Gub. I love it. Oh, he just top decked a Razor Verge ticket to get this guy. I see. I understand. This is a cast trigger, which means, like, even if we tried to... Like, even if we try to kill in response, like, they, they go to put a thing on it, we kill in response, like, they're still going to draw the cards, so it's almost... Kill it. And then we can abrupt decay the next one, so... Let's go for a spider umber. Alright, so they're going to play... That, and we know their hand. It's pretty bad. So now we can go abrupt decay... All right, that's good. That's good. That's a good and bogle. They have two power. Do we just play Ashiok and go to five? No. We're going to take your engine offline. Engines offline. Sultai banner to fix the mana. Oh, that's a good... I like it. I like that strat. Yeah, that's a good one. And by good one, I mean it's kind of meh. Do 
We can scavenge and use eat two, but we can't eat any right now because of the mana. I don't know if I like scavenging in the main deck even. This deck seems like it's doing so many things. It wants to do so many things. Do we just Ashiok here? I feel like there's no better time to Ashiok than right now, but I don't even want to pay black, pay, play black, pay black for it, so. What are the odds they crack this Horizon Canopy? Like 50%, right? What if Bitter Blossom is good in this deck? Wow, that seemed amazing. I played this even though we wanted to save it for Tiles Tracker because if we draw another land, I'd rather just play two things. Yeah, we're at 11. They just totally oh that was a that was pretty good actually. Play you. Do we know anything that's in your hand? No, because you draw off Horizon Canopy and you draw off of the other thing, and we didn't actually see either of those draws. The other thing being your draw step. <laughs> Run for your life if you can. That's the end. We're actually just going to get a forest here because I don't want to take a million. And pass it up. Alright. Well, let's see if we're dead. Oh, God. Oh, that's great. Tempting to keep that up. Tarmogoyf is absolutely huge, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just keep Mana Lake up here. We can we can Tarmogoyf next turn. Let's get down to business to defeat the Boggles. They give us boggles when we asked for different boggles. Well, that's really bogglest, I would say. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to eat something with Scoos, but. It's not today. What do we say to Daybreak Coronet? Not today. You got it. You have it. Uh, tracker? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna eat a thing. Give me one of your most tasty, one of your most tasty cores. Oof. Can I get one Glade Cover Scout or a Boggle? Just I just want to I just want the satisfaction of having it. Uh, you guys are looking at the deck that is not no, that is that has been updated significantly. <laughs> there is no traverse in the deck. Like we're not doing a Delirium theme or anything. These are some sizable Tarmogizzles. I don't know if you guys knew that about Tarmogizzle. One, two. And we don't have enough mana to eat something as well, so we're just gonna not care, I guess. Just let it be.
Oh, we got him. We did it. All right, so Damnation definitely comes in. Spell Pierce can come in. Fatal Push can all... Oh, God, Fatal Push does kill their stupid idiot, but... Brutality can definitely come out. We're not going to kill their guys, and we're not going to make them discard anything there. Uh, Rupt Decay does kill their enchantments, so does Maelstrom Pulse. Liliana MVP. It seems about right. So we bring in one spell pierce and damnation. Yeah, Ashiok's pretty rough here. I'll bring in counter squall. Probably take out one fatal push because they're only good against the. Um... Well, we're gonna put counter squall over negate, which is the same thing basically. I don't hate this hand. I'm going to keep it. I see. What do we get here? Probably a breeding pool, to be quite honest. That's annoying because it shuts off Liliana and it shuts off... Uh, all of our discard spells. We don't. We haven't drawn any, but I guess we could Maelstrom Pulse it. What in the earth? Did I just walk into the to the Twilight Zone? Now y'all stepping into the Twilight Zone. Nope. Uh, we have like six basics. Five basics, six basics, a good amount of basics. The question is, do we play Tarmogoyf here or keep up Mana Leak? I feel like we could just keep up Mana Leak and Counter Squall. We have no reason not to because they have... Uh, like we're just going to... We can, We have time is really what I'm getting at here. Did they board out all their boggles? Yeah, so we have infinite black sources. We're just going to get another breeding pool within our deck. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the canonist. That seems weird. It's a weird inclusion. We're not comboing out. We're not, like, storming you, buddy. Crack you. Right, like it just makes sure we can counter everything they play every turn, right? It's pretty good. Um Tassa Gray. What's up, Connor Ryan? Uh so you get one spell, you can path my Tarmogoyf, I guess. Wow. Yes, please. Do we just counter this? I guess we can't because they have Dryad Arbor, so that's fine. I guess we'll take three. You have three cards in hand? Boy, do I not care about any of that.
And if they don't make me counter anything, then we get to uh, just crack our clue. I don't think I like that. I'm gonna counter squall you. Cause that dude does not just, just doesn't need to be bigger. Cause then you're attacking for five and we're taking all of it, and that just sounds terrible to me. I'm not even gonna block this because I feel like it's hurting you more than me at this point. So we can get rid of three, so Tastic would be a three, one, two, three, and then we get to keep a four mana for two counters or two clues. Yeah, I'll do that. I guess we actually don't need to keep up two counter spells because they only get one. <laughs> so, deal. We can't actually cast two counters, right? Mm. Still no. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. Let's tap correctly. Let's go black, blue. <laughs> oh yeah is that right you deal I'll take it I don't actually want to attack here because if we attack with one, they do happen to have like a path in hand. Then they just either, they, they just put us to three, uh, which is pretty bad. I got the feeling they do have something in hand. Although I can't imagine they didn't path sooner. They're just letting us get all this value off these clues. That doesn't seem right. Okay, well, good to know, good to know. Now we're just gonna block. One down. Pretty sure this game's over. Yeah, I think the biggest issue with Jace in Modern right now is that by by letting by unbanning Jace, you're also um, preventing Riverwise Augur from ever actually seeing play, which is kind of sad. I think. Look at all these cards that we're just just getting rid of here. So there's a thought seize underneath this. So we're gonna crack this. Eight. I'm just gonna get a forest here because I don't think it can, I, don't, I, I don't I don't think I need the land. Okay. Well. 
Jace the Mime Sculptor. So four, eight. And they're dead if they don't block, so. And got him. All right, sweet. Back on the map, boys. I don't like scavenging using the main. I'd like to move that guy to the side, but I don't think we even do that. Uh, there was a card I was thinking of adding. What was it? We were talking about something. Tracker did do some work there. You are not wrong. We'll take out the Ashiok, too. I really don't think Ashiok's great. And that's sad because I'm a big Ashiok fan. But, ooh, Bitter Blossom. That was a card. Our, our, um, oh, I do like one search for Azkanta. I'll, I'll add that. Maybe. Maybe I will. I don't know if I like it with this deck, though. I could see adding a third Lily. What do we got, three slots here? I don't think it's a Bitter Blossom deck either. I think if we, I think we could put Bitter Blossom in if we had like um, like a sword or something. I feel like we had a. Um, I feel like we mentioned something in the chat, and I was like, "Oh, I like that. That's a good idea." And then I forgot what it was. And that makes me sad. I mean, Tarmogoyf is clearly MVP here. I don't know if I like Search for Azkanta. I feel like Search is good in the control decks, but I feel like we're actually doing stuff. It might have been the banner. It might have been Sultai banner. That might be what it was. <sighs> oh my god, how many how many times are you guys going to play say search for us content? I don't understand. That's exactly what I was thinking. Search seems a little slow for the deck. Like, I just feel like... I, the thing, I, I don't want to be playing Search on turn two. This isn't like a control deck where I, I'm going to win in the long game. It's kind of like a deck where I'm going to out-attrition them. It might be Traverse. I don't like Traverse, though. I have been at the same sub count for, like, three days now. And I've been getting consistent subs, which is super weird. So I have no idea if it's broken or if... Yeah, we're not a... We're not a um... I definitely don't want Opulent Palace. I would sooner play Creeping... Creeping... Uh... Petrick, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. See, I'm watching to see if that went up, because Petrick is definitely a new sub, so I'll be able to tell if it went up or not. It doesn't look like it, though. So, Creeping Tarbit. Um, Creeping Tarbit, I'd rather play Creeping Tarbit over Opium Palace, because it's just a better land. Um, but the thing we're trying to avoid, which is why I put the Dark Slick Shores in, is because I just wanted to... I don't want the lands coming into play tapped. I want to be able to do something on turn one, on turn two, and on turn three. Yeah, still at the same number. It has not gone up, which is super weird to me. I wonder if it's broken. We have two slots. Two slots. Give me some good Sultai cards. Leovold? Can we get Leovold in Modern?
Wow, Mystic Snake, Baleful Strix. Baleful Strix and Leovold would be my two MVPs for this deck. 100%. Yeah, Petrix, uh, Petrix sub did not affect things, so I have no idea. My, so my big problem with Traverse... Okay, let me talk to me. Let me talk to you guys about my biggest problem with Traverse. This is not a Delirium deck, so their odds of ever hitting Delirium on Traverse is pretty low. So it's basically the equivalent of Search Library for Basic Land put in, put in the deck. I like Kalidus actually a lot. That's a good call. I actually don't mind going to four Jaces. Oh god, am I that guy? Am I the four Jace guy? Oh, it seems... That's too expensive. I think the problem is it's too expensive. I do kind of like Corsair of Crew Fix. Okay, that's a good one. I'm not going to cut... I'm not adding Bob... This is not a Bob... This is not a Bob deck. Wait, this is not a Dark Confidant deck. Thrag. All right, that's what we're doing. We're going Thrag and we're going uh, Kalidus. Or, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do that. I like Murderous Cut, too. Actually, that's pretty good. Let's try it like this. Let's see if this is a thing. Uh, no Courser because I just don't know what to take out for it. I like I, li I, li I like I, li I like one Thrag Tusk. Um, we'll see how we'll see how this goes. Cut does seem pretty good. I agree with that definitely. I do like just I just like having one uh Thrag Tusk though. Well this hand seems rough. Keep. Uh I have to ship a second abrupt decay because I have no idea what we're playing against, so. I do like Sultai Charm. What are the modes on Sultai Charm again? Kill a monocolor creature, draw to his card one, just run out of factor and shaman. That's pretty versatile, actually. That's not bad. Uh, we have... We haven't... Josh, we haven't tried any Bloodbird Elf yet. But we, we've been trying to Jace here, and it's been working okay, I guess. Uh, we're just going to get an Overgrown Tomb. Now we're going to get a watery grave. The problem with the purchase of the second sun is that it does cost seven mana, but it also is very susceptible to being countered. That's that's one of the big problems. You could play Beseju, which is pretty sweet. That was a good draw. All right, let's see what we got here. Ragged Vines. Whenever a creature is dealt damage, his controller loses that much life. Nahiri's Wrath. Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. Good lord. What am I... What even is going on? I'm just going to give him the O face because that's my real face at this moment. 
Remember cringe it so This seems like I don't even know what's going on here. I saw the bunch of the cards and I still don't understand the combo. I guess we'll find out. So you want to play Champions don't too much control loses that much. So they put that on one of our guys. And then they just deal a million damage with Nahiri's Wrath. They discard five and then it takes five and we take five. No. Because it can't it, you can't hit players, it's just creatures and our planeswalkers. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, one more land. Is this oh is this converted mana cost? Additional cost. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Oh, so you discard an Emrakul for fifteen. You fifteen one of my guys. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, we put it in the graveyard, so. Well. Where are my lands at? Oh, I bet his deck does have Forbidden Orchard. That's interesting. Harmon JB, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Okay. Well, I'm going to discard Fatal Push. Actually, we're going to discard Maelstrom Pulse. Uh, Fatal Push can actually, if they do give us a, a creature with this guy, uh, we are able to kill it. So that's a thing. Well, this is awkward. Oh, you're going to give me a little friend? Okay. Well, now you're dead. Now you got a 10 turn clock, buddy. Mm, so, okay, you played this. You cycled these. Played the Knights Whisperer. So, actually, the only card I know about is... This is an instant? The Sorcery. Gonna kill my... Oh, they're gonna make another one, and then they're gonna hear his wrath, both of them? Mother of God. What's happening? Oh, you're just hard casting that dude. Alright. Okay. Okay. Eh. Push that dude down a, down a mine shaft. I think we just we might have just killed ourselves, but I guess we'll find out. They do have to have another Ragged Vines, so. Oh, and they didn't make us a guy either, so maybe they don't. Oh god, through the Breach, Emrakul? There's no reason not to just have through the Breach in your deck. Okay, well, that's good times. Alright, now we know what we're up against. Oh, it's Ragged Veins? Oh, God, that's so much worse, dude. Oh. Chad, if you want me to do a, a standard gauntlet, I can pro we can probably do a standard gauntlet. Oh, God, Ragged Veins? That's such a worse card. 
I like how you guys are correcting me and like aggressively correcting me. Ugh. We were only at one with no perms. All right. So what are we even just being counter spells here? Pulse can come out. Last hope can come out. And bring in the gates, bring in spell pierce. Bring in all the counter spells. Every counter spell imaginable, we're just gonna bring them all in. I guess that's good. Uh is surgical Hey, what are we gonna hit with surgical? Like we can hit their combo piece, but like we have to actually discard it first. I don't know. I think countering is just better. I'm not a big surgical extraction fan, I'll be honest with you. Show me what you're working with. What is this? Whenever enchant creatures deal damage. Okay, so it's literally spiteful shadows is just ragged vines. Ha 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 vines. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of the Nahiri's Wrath every time. So we know your hand is this. I think we're just going to keep negate up here. Well, where are the lands? Come on, lands. Does this, do we just need 24 lands in our deck? Actually, main phase Snapcaster Mage is probably pretty good. No target. Well, we got to get something on the board. It's probably not going to be lands, though, that's for sure. Simeon Spirit Guide. Just hard casting these is cracking me up, dude. Oh, we did it. We didn't tireless tracker, but we did manage to get a land, I guess. And isn't that the important part? I want to discard all your Nahiri's Wrath. What's Kindle the Carnage? Discard a card at random. If you do Kindle a card, it deals damage. You could let cards card back to each creature. You may repeat this process any number of times. Wow, this deck looks like gas. Harmon Jamie, really enjoy your content. I think Salt Tide today just really made me want to sub. Grim Flares help protect Jace, too. That's true. That is not false. I'm gonna negate this every day. So what did you what did you where did your card go? Oh, you discarded the spiteful shadows. Okay, so your ragged veins, spear guide, kindle of carnage in hand. Okay. Give me a, a green. That's not a green, but I I appreciate your attempt. I can't either, dude. Spiteful Shadows and Ragged Vines. And then Kindle the Carnage and Nahiri's Wrath. And then you just have Through the Breach just in case. Just because YOLO. I feel like all I want to do in, in Modern is Through the Breach Emrakul. No. You don't need more cards. You're trying to combo, brah. Did you exile Sinning Spirit Guide? Wow, that was... That was a bold, bold strategy, I guess. We can Inquisition Snapcaster you. <gasps> My excitement is so real right now. Just going to put that into play tapped. Next turn, we can go Tireless Tracker land and then get a clue if, we, if that happens.
Can you stop? Fine, you can have it. I don't even care. Oh, we're definitely killing that. That's great. Okay, this is a lot of cards you're drawing. I'm not comfortable. Just a mind sculptor, better than all. Just a mind sculptor. So, what is that? I think it's I think it's actually pretty safe to play Thrun here, and unless they just literally have through the Breach Emrakul in hand, let's find out. I feel dead inside if that counts. Is that the same thing? What's up, Polar SSB? Yeah, for the record, my sub count did not go up uh, with 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 uh, Petrick's sub earlier. So that's weird. I feel like the sub counter is broken. Jasta, mine sculptor. Mother of God, that is a big cow. Big cow. There has to be stuffy dolls in this deck too, right? So ideally they're going to go Boros. They can't go Boros Reckoner and Kindle the Carnage slash Nahiri's Wrath and play like a Ragged Vines. Which one is better, a big cow or a beautiful chicken? It's probably a beautiful chicken. Um, but I think you're more likely to become friends with the big cow. I think it's big cow for friend for friendship. I think it's beautiful chicken for aesthetics. That's that's what I'm that's my vote. Well, I guess they don't you're right, they don't need vines. They what do they need to do? There's another thing though. Um, so they go Boros Reckoner, and then they can go Kindle the Carnage to each creature. I guess they could just kill us here, right? We could just be dead. Why aren't they... They have to have 14 total in their hand, right? Kill this dude. We just kill that dude, right? Kindle's a sorcery. Keep these. One, two, three, and then we can still keep a negate. So we can actually put snap on top. Green. Black. Kill you immediately. Let's see what you got. Through the breach. Through the breach, tri triple ragged vines, and a kindle the carnage. Let's get rid of the kindle the carnage. Don't want to attack because I don't like losing my jace. All right, so Kindle's gone, and your hand is rag, 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 ragged vines. I'm going to keep saying vines, guys, just so you know. Um, did you just top deck an Emrakul? Oh. You discarded one vines. I Believe it or not, I want to keep my Jace. I'm, I'm going to be sculpting some mines here, my friend. Oh, we're going to go to the next game. Feels good. Feels good. 
Surgical extraction now seems seems even worse because they they do have so much redundance. You're just like, oh, well. Uh, we didn't get rid of through the breach because through the breach is just easy to counter. Uh, so we can just counter the one through the breach, whenever. First time in recorded history, someone has chosen Kindle the Carnage over through the breach. That, I believe that to be a factual statement. Oh, I wish we had a black, but I think this is... It's not really okay, right? Two five drops? This isn't great. This is good, though. I like this. Oh, it's my... It's Jace, Daddy! I think we got to put you on the bottom, unfortunately. Chase the mind sculptor. Chase the mind sculptor better than all. I'm just cracking this now for the sake of F sixing. That's pretty okay. Pretty sure we can brutality here. Which is probably just better than, better than all. Oh, all right. We got two Reckoners, which is just fine. If they top deck, I'm recall, we don't actually care. We'll just take the Wrath here, I guess. We have Abrupt Decay for a Boros Reckoner that they're going to play next turn. We have Thoughtseize for the other spell. Let's take through the breach. Yep, there's one wait one big cow. Big cow. My name is Big Cow. I'm just gonna clear this out. Oh, let's go with I guess we just got a reckoner here because Wrath doesn't really do anything. Seiju. Okay. What do we want here? Green? We'll just get a forest here because we have a lot of... What, a Breezef? I'm just going to play Kalidus here because their hand is not that aggressive. And if they want to discard like a forecasting cost spell to kill Kalidus, that's fine. If their hand, like, there's no way they can play in Harry's Wrath and a Ragged Veins. <laughs> well, this is it's getting unfortunate. <gasps> Excitement intensifies. Oh, Nagatoruski. Jace the Mind Sculptor. I think we're in good shape here. I'm just going to attack. You can put Jace to one if you want, and then we'll just... Now we're definitely cracking. Any thoughts of holding the Decay for after he tries to Wrath the Cow? No, not really, just because I don't think they're going to do that, and it could take a significant amount of time for them to do that. Right? So they don't have Emrakul in hand. 
but them just having Boros Reckoner in play leaves means we have to be vigilant for the entire time that's in play. Two to the face. Interesting. Oh, because because they're just going to deal with 15. And they're going to kill Jace and Kalidus. Dis discard two cards. What did you discard? Blasphemous Act and a Simeon Spirit Guide. And it can't be countered. Woof. All right, so we have green, green, black, 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 blue, blue, blue. So we'll just get a watery grave. That's a big time, Goyf. All right, getting a little tired of these lands here. We have a three-turn clock, which is nice. So we just have to hope you don't draw anything in three turns. Two-turn clock. If we can, if we can counter something with the count, like they're gonna have to play a thing on our guy and a Nahiri's Wrath, or just play like uh, through the Breach Emrakul, which is bad. But we do get to sacrifice this guy and keep one land, I guess. And then they go to five. And then we go to two. Yeah. Ugh, crying out loud. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm still alive here. Oh, I guess we could have counted. Yeah, we could have put them to three. And then... Sacked one more land? I don't know. Don't do it. I mean, we didn't miss two damage. We can do this at any time. It doesn't. It's not how missing damage works. <sighs> if they were at one less, or if we were at one more, I guess. Wow, that's pretty beautiful. That's pretty pretty brutal. <sighs> yep. All right. All right, guys. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed our uh, Jace testing. Uh, not the best results. Not sure if Sultai is the best frame in modern, but I hope we had a good time anyway. And um, if you don't take 15 there, how do you lose? What? I don't understand what you're saying right now. Do you guys know they used Baseju to... Uh, Okay, so hold on. You said, okay, turns out if we squalled his breach and kept the plant, he'd have died. Okay, so if we scrawled his breach, we would have been to three. We would have attacked with one more damage, which, which would have put them to two. But because we kept the token, we would have had one less land. So we would have one land in play. They could still cast Collective Brutality, and we wouldn't have two mana to negate it. So they would be at two life instead of five, because two more damage from Squall and one more damage from the, from the token... But we would be dead still because we didn't have two mana. Do you understand that? So we could have still cast Squall on our last turn, but they were at three life. The only way they die is if they're at two life instead. And the only way they're at two life is if we kept the token instead of a land. So we wouldn't be able to cast... We, we can't do both. The, the thing is, they stay at two because they just choose not to make Collective Brutality uncounterable. Because they don't have to. 
because we only have one land at that point. Do you understand? So it's not like some magical situation. We don't... I understand we'd already have cast Squall. So they'd be at... Okay, so they were at five when we died. If we cast Squall already, they'd be at three. Okay. They just don't pay the two from Baseju because they don't have to. Okay. We figured it out. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, I think the deck was fun. Super fun. Um... It's hard to it's hard to play Soul Tie because you kind of want to do super friends. You kind of you kind of want to be proactive with with nice like beefy threats like Tarmogoyfs, but then you kind of want to be reactive with things like mana leaks and fatal pushes and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to figure out the balance. Um, Soul Tie might not be the best frame, but it is one of my favorite decks. So uh, favorite favorite color combinations archetypes. Um, so we wanted to give it a shot. Thank you for Lafo uh, for submitting the deck. Really appreciate it. And if you guys. Uh, haven't done so be sure to subscribe or follow if you're on watching on youtube be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons thank you so much for watching really appreciate it and i'll see you next time